So in the previous part, part five, we were able to um, create a rig for our cat. Now we're gonna parent the cat to the rig. So we're gonna start by selecting our cat mesh and then holding in shift, we're gonna select our rig. You're then gonna go control P or command P and then you're gonna go to the with automatic weights option. And now if you actually grab your rig and you go into pose mode and you grab a bone, you can see we're controlling our cat. So you can grab a bone, rotate it. The only thing is, is you can see here the eyes aren't going along. So all we have to do very simply is go into object mode and then select the first eye. So let's go to the left eye and then holding in shift, select the rig while you have that active and then go into pose mode and then left click on the left eye bone here and go control P and then go bone, just with the bone here. And then do the same thing with the other one, go back into object mode Select the right eye now, holding in shift, select the rig, and then go into pose mode, and now select the right eye bone, and go control P, and then just go with the bone option. So now if you grab the eye, main eye control here, you can see the eyes are rotating along. How cool is that? And that's just really, really fun to play around with. And then we can now grab, you know, like the head, control that. You can control the neck. Uh, we can kind of lean the cat down. Do this, kind of make it crouch. You can kind of take the the spine or the, the, the um, hip and bring it down. And then we can grab this one over here, the tail IK and rotate it like so. So it's a pretty cool rig, as you can see here. And it's very simple. But you can see here, we have this kind of weird deformation of these bones. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna go to our object data property for the bones. I'm gonna change the display to B bone, which stands for bendy bone. And then let's go to our bone properties. Now let's just select each one of these tail bones and go to the bendy bones and give it two segments. Maybe with this one we'll give it three segments. With this one over here we'll give it two segments. This one, let's give it two segments. So now if we grab this IK, we can see we have a lot more flex in there, like so. And But at the moment these bones are all looking really bulky, so let's just press A to select everything, Alt-G, Alt-R just to reset the transforms. Let's go into edit mode and with everything active, we're gonna go control alt S. So control alt S or command alt S. And let's just make these bones a lot skinnier, like so. And there we have it. So now let's go back into object mode. And now that we have our weights done, if you wanted to, you can select a rig and then holding in shift, select the cat and then go into your weight painting mode here. And then all you have to do is hold in control and then click on a bone and you can see the weight for that bone, like so. And if you come in here and you paint on the weights and you go control and click on the opposite bone, you can see it has the exact same weight properties because it's all mirrored, which is really kind of nice. But out of the box, things are more or less okay. The only ones we have to look at are these ones down here. So holding in control, let's just select this one over here, the bottom foot control, and let's just go with our brush and just paint in these nails here. So we make sure that they're all going along and let's just paint the back of the foot here as well, like that. Just a little bit of a detail like that, but for the most part, it did a good job with the automatic weights. And then let's hold in control and select the back one and kind of has the same problem here. Just need to give it a little bit more weight. We have the painting here. There we go. Okay, that's looking a lot better. So now if we hold in control and we click on the IK, and you can see that's looking a lot better. Double tap R to rotate to test. Okay, that's looking really good. And everything else, like the neck and stuff, it's all pretty good. The head's pretty good. You might just grab the head bone here and then just with the brush, just paint his ears a little bit more. Just so it has a bit more influence on the head and the face. But more or less, I think it did a pretty good job. So it's not too much we really have to do as far as the cat goes. I think that is all good. So this has been probably one of the shorter ones in this series. So we've now got a rigged and working cat. So in the next bit, we're gonna now start adding a particle system to our cat so it has some real fur. So I look forward to seeing you guys then. I've been looking really forward to that part.